This is Gar Nelson from Hot and Sunny Thailand, and this is an install of Cyclops Adventure Sports Long Distance Optimus Lights on a CB 500X. Now, the lights are on this bike two 10 degree uh, lights. They're 10 watts each with a 10 degree beam. And I've added these optional covers that flatten the beam out and make it wider. And that should take care of any problems with oncoming traffic. On this install, I've also added an optional steam dimmer. And that is tucked up in this little pocket here. Now with this Optimus Kit. What you get are two lights, a wiring harness, a relay, pretty much everything you need, and then the steam dimmer is an optional extra. And the cool part of the steam dimmer is that you don't need uh, any extra switches or relays or anything else. The standard uh, headlight switch you already have on the handlebars takes care of everything. When the high beams are on, the lights are full power. When the low beams are on, you can have a 40%, 50%, 20%, whatever you want as a uh, conspicuous light to help yourself be seen but uh, not be up on full power. But as soon as you hit the high beam switch, the lights come up to full power. Now one of the things that uh, Thailand has that I've been told that the American CB500Xs don't have is this passing light switch. And if we turn on the lights for just a second, now you can see the, the lights come on and then I'll flash this twice and I made a little hey look at me flashy thing. So two flashes up here on the switch and a special flash from the lights. Now that's the steam dimmer. Now to install these lights basically all you need is power, ground, and a connection to the high beam light. And I use switch power. Way before I put this USB uh, socket on the handlebars and that socket gets its power from switch power underneath the key and that line comes down here and that's what I tapped into to put this fuse right here so I can get to it when the cowling's on and then this is the fuse for the two 10 watt lights you know, the wiring you get is a lot bigger than you need, but, you know, vibration, the bigger wires are not going to break. They're there for the duration. So power comes down, the steam dimmer, all the whiz-bang circuitry is right here in this little box module. And then the single point ground for the Honda is right here. All my grounds, the USB ground, the ground for the steam and the ground for the lights, everything is right here along with all the other Honda grounds. All my wiring is along this rail and any excess is tucked up under here, goes under the tank, all nice and clean. Really, everything you need to get to is all on the left side. So take off this cowling piece and this plastic piece and everything you need is is right here it's really amazingly simple the bracket that i use to hold the lights uh, didn't mention that yet but this bracket is made by southwest motec and it replaces the honda bracket under here that holds the cowling onto the frame and then it comes out a little farther 
and this flat bar is bolted on to the cowling bracket and then the lights come on to the flat bar and they have their little Deutsch connectors up under here that are and you can take these off if you need to without disturbing the rest of your wiring it's a pretty nice setup and then if you wanted to put these covers off they're just extra covers and they pop off so there you have if you were uh, you know, out in the woods where you didn't have any oncoming traffic to worry about you could take the cover off and then have the full power of the light coming off out in front of you instead of having it uh, flattened and widened now that's it for the daytime I'll come back when it's dark and we'll see how these look at the in the night Okay, it's nighttime now, and uh, my GoPro settings are not sufficient to really capture what's going on. This is low beam with the uh, LED lights at about, I think, 20%, which is there at the default setting. And high beam is here. It really doesn't capture what's going on, but uh, the light is really nice on high beam. I wish I could uh, capture it better, but it was worth it. I, I think I need to play with the default settings and get the low beam up a little bit, but uh, they're very, very nice lights.